ultimately, I just think they've done a, a bad job of both making it clear what is acceptable and what isn't, and two, it's literally the structure of the website that is the problem, period. Shall we talk about the thing? You know, the thing? The hot tub thing. So recently, there's been a lot, 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 a lot of talk about hot tub streamer meta. And if you don't know what that is, good for you. Uh, just kidding. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's basically just girls a fe female streamers streaming in hot tubs inside yeah yeah um and a lot of people see it as kind of like skirting the line of tos the twitch terms and uh, of services and what is allowed and what is not allowed so for starters i would love to I don't know, just kind of react to some of the popular clips recently about it. See what's popping, see what's going on. However, before we get into it, some disclaimers. One, there is nothing wrong with sex work or sex workers. And none of what we are about to discuss or say should counteract that, essentially. I strongly want to get that out of the way. Because I do feel... <laughs> Like some people kind of veil their misogyny in just trying to speak generally about the topic. That's not what we're doing here. It's not at all what we're doing here. Actually, hot tub streamer matter has nothing to do with the individuals, whether it's the individual streamers, the individual Twitch staff, literally any individuals. It has everything to do with the overarching kind of phenomenon as well as Twitch as a company and their terms and services. Okay, so please, I kindly ask, no matter what is said on my stream or in my chat, please don't ever send the hot tub streamers hate, Twitch staff people hate, just any individual hate. Because at the end of the day, it, 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 it's just not helpful. It's not going to progress us towards anything. So there's just really no use for it. Okay, are we good? Can we all agree on that? Can I see some handshakes in the chat? All right. <clears throat> Anyways, now on to the actual issue. Actually, another thing. Well, do I, do I really want to dive, dive deep on that? You know what? Yeah, yeah. Let's cover it because I did see a pretty good tweet earlier, which I'd like to showcase. It was this, and it says, I feel like the hot tub... Meta is an issue of regulation on Twitch to set transparent guidelines and support across platform, but I feel like the anger of the hot tub meta is being taken out on the streamers and is one step above thinly veiled misogyny. I think the hot tub hit tub hot tub meta is a problem. Yeah, those titty streamers have no worth or talent. Twitch is supposed to be about video video games. <laughs> what? No, I mean I think they should just categorize and regulate the content and blah 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 blah. We don't like to see that shit, okay? Please, 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 none of that. I do think that's one of the reasons that this topic has been something that is difficult to discuss, controversial, but it's because it's so nuanced and it's because oftentimes if you take one stance, people will associate it. <laughs> it's actually, I'll tell you guys story. Uh, will associate it with misogyny, misogyny straight up because of some of the misogynistic comments that people make. But that's just not the truth of the matter. Funny story. I tried to ask some of my friends in like OTV and friends circle. And I'm like, what do you guys think about hot tub meta on Twitch right now? And I swear to God, every single time I can see it in their eyes to them, it feels like I'm testing them and asking them, do you hate sex workers? <laughs> When, like, that's not at all. Well, I'm just curious. Like, do you have a take? Do you think it should be categorized differently? Uh, like, every single person's like, I, I mean, like, you know, go off, queen. Like, they should do what they want to do and, like, make your money. Yep. <laughs> Which I, I find to be so cute because I'm like, no, I'm not testing you. It's not, it's not like that. And it makes me so 
sad <laughs> that it feels like there are only two camps that people can be in. Either, <laughs> either you're not sexist and you're okay with hot tub streamers, or you are sexist and you're not okay with it. Like, no. And there are people at those two ends. Don't get me wrong. There are people who are just assholes and they're not even thinking of it in a nuanced way. They're just like whamming, taking money from whatever, showing their bodies, get off. Like, <laughs> but those, that is not the only stance that there is, I guess, on that side of the spectrum per se. <laughs> Woman taking money, bad. Boobies, bad. <laughs> But I do think there is a lot to be said about, honestly, I, from a business perspective, I find this really like a very interesting phenomenon slash problem of some sorts that Twitch is obviously looking to manage or solve or sort in some way. So I want to talk to you guys about that. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to say this one more time because I swear to God, I cannot drill, like I really feel like I cannot drill this in enough. I arguably, uh, not me specifically, but female streamers on the platform that don't do hot tub streams probably have the most reason to like resent or dislike hot tub streaming or hot tub streaming meta because of the kind of harmful perception that it creates around female streamers in general. And even I have nothing against these ladies at all, at all. I have nothing against anyone who decides to do this or do more, you know, literally nothing against them at all. And I genuinely think sex workers deserve so much more empathy and respect than they are even awarded a fraction of, okay? I really, really, really wanna make that clear before I dive into this. Thank you, thank you very much. And if you disagree, whatever, that's cool. I'm just, I just wanna make my stance very clear. I want to add that, at least for me personally, I've seen a lot of female streamers speak out about this meta. And I imagine why is because they're probably receiving so many comments like, hey, you should do hot tub streams. Hey, don't you think you would get a bazillion more viewers if you did hot tub streams? And I have already seen dozens of comments like that in my chat right now, just because I'm talking about the topic. Literally someone being like, if you did it, you would get 100,000 viewers. <laughs> and like, luckily, I've been doing this shit seven years. I'm kind of over the whole, I don't know, being insecure about viewership thing. But if someone is like newer or especially like up and coming creators, I can totally understand that being like both demoralizing and oddly inappropriate. When someone comes to you or your channel and they are quite literally asking you to undress or asking you to get more naked under the guise of this would be good for you. It's just weird. And most female streamers are not interested in that kind of attention, or I don't want to speak for anybody. But I think, uh, especially people whose content revolves around just playing games, they don't want to hear that shit. It's weird. But I think that's one of the, as I was saying, I think that's one of the reasons that female streamers have spoken about this a lot, but I, I think they hold too much resentment towards the actual individuals. Well, no, I, I, I take that back. I hope that people don't hold resentment towards the individuals that are doing this and instead save your resentment for one, the weirdos who generalize all female streamers into one category and assume that they should all or all need to do hot tub streams or all need to undress for money or for their male gaze or whatever the heck. Reserve your resentment for them as well as for Twitch, who has extremely unclear and ambiguous terms of services with such large gray area that it is hard for people to know where the line is ever drawn. So again, nothing to do with the, well, not the individual streaming at least. Um, <clears throat> I will say though, the weird thing is 
Twitch has pretty clear guidelines for most other things. For example, you can't have a camera that is only on your cleavage. You know what? Let me just say the story. So for a long time, the hot tub streamer kind of hot tub streamer meta like went over my head until one day I was sitting at home in the evening and I was like, you know what? Let me just check it out. What's up? And I went to it and I watched a few hot tub streamers and I was like, ah, interesting. I get it. However, there was this one streamer I found and I'm sure if you're a coomer like me, you've seen her too. And she essentially has no face cam and she only showed her cam from here to like here. And she would wear very, very revealing and curvaceous tops. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh. And the thing is, it was like hot tub streamer, hot tub streamer, hot tub streamer, girl with intense cleavage, hot tub streamer. And when I was looking at all of that, I was like, dang, it really does look from a front facing perspective that this sort of thing is almost like overtaking the website. And this, the reason I say the website, I don't genuinely feel that way. Um, it's just like a perceptions thing because just chatting is like always the top category. And these streams tend to also be at the top of these categories. But the funny thing is, when I look at that girl who was only showcasing her cleavage, one, that is 100% against terms of service. But when I compare that to someone who is wearing like itty bitty bikini and is like sitting on top of a banana fully wet in like a hot tub, I don't even know which is more suggestive than the other, but I know for sure that the girl who is mostly clothed but has cleavage not only is that against terms of service, but I'm pretty sure she got banned. And I, but the hot tub streamer thing, streaming thing is totally okay. I think that kind of encompasses the confusion that people have around what is okay and what is not okay. And I'm actually not, I'm not really here to speak on precisely what Twitch should allow. I'm just here to speak on the fact that they are kind of doing a bad job at one, making that clear and evident, and two, the way they structure their website is like just down horrendous for this kind of an issue. Um, la let me try to explain that a bit better. <clears throat> Essentially, if they're going, if Twitch is going to allow uh, like essentially kind of suggestive hot tub streams, then they need to do it in a manner that makes sense for the platform. And the problem with Twitch in comparison to YouTube, on YouTube, there's like probably people doing like naked yoga, but most individuals don't ever see that because we don't go looking for it. I mean, maybe some of y'all do, none of my business. But it kind of prevents that issue of it being so front facing on the platform. Whereas with Twitch, everything is categorized by section and by viewership. So when you go to the most popular category, just chatting, and the first however many streams <clears throat> include a lot of more suggestive hot tub streams, it's a little bit problematic for the overall perception of the website, essentially. And they need to fix that somehow, whether it's by having a better like mature system having different categories for things like this whatever it is but right now it's essentially like you see the thumbnail especially i feel so bad for kids <laughs> i'm not here to be like parents should whatever their kids are. i'm not saying it's anybody's fault i just think it's funny to imagine someone who like a little 16 year old boy who's been on twitch for years <laughs> and then he's his parents are just like over his shoulder one day and they just see like racks all racks all racks and he's got to be like mom it, it's it's not what you think i swear and she's just giving him the look like i think that's just such a comedic thing to me um but but yeah as i was saying either th they need to figure out a better way <laughs> of kind of um yeah just moderating and how would you say like creating a section for that sort of content that is just not so front-facing on the website 
for for numerous reasons. I don't know if you guys need me to get into it, but that's that's about it. And also something that is something that's not so easy to like override as just clicking, yep, I'm mature. Yep, I'm mature. Because, you know, kids know how to do that. And furthermore, if you see the thumbnail, like you're already exposed to the content as opposed to having to go out of your way to get to that content and then being able to confirm that you are of age. Those are two very, very different things. Um, yeah, so I'm happy to say I think... <laughs> I will admit, I think Twitch is doing quite a, a bad job of handling all this. I think that is in part due to the fact that they don't have good ways of communicating with their audiences, both ways that are received well or ways that are very transparent and clear. However, I do understand that as a business, that's very hard for them to do in terms of like legal liabilities. Like, they can't really comment on every single ban or every single decision that they make. Yeah, I think that would be a legal liability. But also, damn, we gotta watch some of these DJ Wheat clips because I understand he's trying to be like, nah, listen, we're trying. But the amount of frustration that you see within him is unfortunately just not a good look for the overall website and company. Like, that's not what people need to hear. <laughs> people that are upset because they have such immense love and care for this platform that, like, you have to understand, as an employee of Twitch or someone who is higher up at Twitch, you have to understand the connection that people have within the Twitch community, for the Twitch community. Like, people love this shit. They're like, I'm on this hours a day. I love my games. I love my people, etc. And for them to feel so disconnected from something that is going on with the platform and for you to come in and be like frustrated about it as opposed to understanding um, or providing potential solutions or reassuring that people are looking into it or will be hearing their feedback, like that's just not the right way to go about it. You can't be like, humph, but listen to me as someone who works there. Like, but I do, I do agree that Twitch stuff gets kind of hard. I do think people are a little too intense on them because again, it's a company, not an individual. Like Twitch is a whole ass company. It's not one person making all the decisions. But it just, it just is what it is. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Twitch wants to remain as diverse and as mainstream as possible. So they want to allow people to do all these IRL things and sit in hot tubs and do this and that without ever going into the realm of being not safe for work. Now, I do see I do see a world where they create either some sort of a tag or some sort of a barrier between front-facing things on the website and more mature channels. But when I say mature, they would put a lot of things in that category. They would put perhaps people who like are really vulgar or swear a lot. They would put um, more sexually suggestive things, gambling, drinking streams. They would probably put everything behind that wall. And I, I can't speak to how good or bad that would be. I just know that something like that kind of has to be done. And you've seen YouTube do it with a lot of stuff. Um, whether it's demonetizing or putting it behind kind of a wall where it doesn't get shown algorithmically to as many people. YouTube has done that a ton to essentially really make an example out of people and say, this is what we want to be like popping off on our platform. And this is what we're not OK with. I know. Make it just swimming category. Yeah, maybe actually. If you were in charge of Twitch, would you make the rules more lenient or less? I'd make them more straightforward. Actually, maybe I wouldn't. Here's here's the issue. You, I, I can see Twitch is trying to make things straightforward, but then people like toe the line so much that you need to have someone who can just, as a human, go to a stream and be like, ah, this is suggestive. 
and do something about that. That doesn't mean ban, but do something about that so that it's not just suggestive streams that kind of take over the whole platform. Does that make sense? Because right now, Twitch staff, they either, they either see that you are clearly infracting their TOS and then they ban you, or they're like, well, <laughs> Yeah, maybe I can't, I don't want to like meme on any hot tub streamers, but you get what I mean. Like maybe it looks inappropriate, but you're not doing anything that is clearly violating any rules. So there's nothing I can do about that. But the more of like skirting these lines type of scenarios we have, and like the more problematic it becomes over time because that kind of stuff is obviously entertaining and will garner some sort of an audience. So they need to do something from... Um, yeah, they just need to do something from like a, a higher up level. <laughs> I was gonna say a legislative level, like Twitch is the fucking government. <laughs> okay. I'm speaking purely from a business perspective because I assume that's how Twitch operates. And we all know Twitch has a lot more data and information than we ever could about this stuff. So if you see that they're not outright banning these types of channels, it's either because one, it's overall worth the profit that they bring in or two because they have some clear I actually think it's both they have some clear end goal of not wanting to be too restrictive and I absolutely think that's the case because there's legit nothing wrong with them when it's not crossing TOS well that's the thing there's nothing wrong with the act of streaming yourself in a hot tub if it's not against you like in a vacuum, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, whatever. But there is something kind of problematic for the overall platform when there are a lot of people at the top of the most popular category all doing that. It just shows a perception or like it, it just warps the overall perception of the platform. And I think that's what people have a problem with. Which is, you know, understandable. Like, you know, it's like, my platform. My platform that I love for my video games. You know. Or again, I don't want to say, like, I don't want to use the word bad. I would rather, because I don't want to say, like, being in a hot tub is bad. Or being sex sexually suggestive is bad. It's just, I think it misrepresents what people want Twitch to be about and I think what Twitch wants Twitch to be about and there's just this kind of jarring disconnect there now there is someone to blame for the freaking weirdos who see one girl do it and then they have to go freaking try to coerce every other female streamer into doing it like what <laughs> like you know huh it in what universe, under what circumstances, is it okay to assume that just because one person of an entire motherfucking gender does something, that everybody else, an entire motherfucking gender, needs to do something? Like, stop. It's so dumb. It's so, it's just so dumb. <laughs> I'm scared some girls will start doing it because all others are doing it. That's true. That's true. But you know what? Here's the thing. It used to be that way many years ago as well, but just not in a hot tub. Like you would hear that a lot uh, six years ago. People would say, I see so many girls, so many female streamers with a lot of cleavage that get a lot of viewers and I want to stream on Twitch and I'm a girl. Do I need to do that? But you just like either you're okay with doing that and you do or you don't want to do that and you don't. Like, I saw so much of that. I'm trying to think back, like, did I ever think, like, did I ever have an issue with that or was I ever unsure? I think I just grew up in a strict ass household. I was like, ain't no way my parents gonna let me show any yiddies. Heck no. It's just out of the question. And it's just not something I'm personally comfortable doing anyways. So I was like, damn, they do be getting viewers, but like, let me just do my thing and see where it goes. <laughs> yeah, I, so I think I'm kind of lucky in the sense that that was always just so out of the picture for me 
both personally and also because I started streaming at like 17 in my parents' household, like, it was just not going to happen. Um, yeah, and, and when it comes to just like sexually suggestive stuff, I'm not a very like publicly comfortable person like I don't really talk about that stuff again it's just what personally makes me comfortable but if I was a more sexually suggestive person I could potentially see myself having no problem with it but I do I would love to be someone who can reassure you that you can and should find your own path to success whether it be on twitch or elsewhere you don't have to do something only because other people are doing it and it's successful if anything, it's, if anything, you'll find more success doing something unique. Period. What's your opinion on ya base tick? Oh, I had this open. Here, let's read through. Let's read through. Woo -woo. I thought this was such a great point. Um, they say, what happens if a young girl under the age of 18 decides to do a hot tub stream like the ones we are seeing in just chatting ATM? Am I still to believe this is not sexual content? If so, there is nothing stopping a 13-year-old from exposing her body on your site. For the record, this is coming from a place of love. I love this platform, but it's going down a dark path if left unchecked. This is also not a personal attack. I see a lot of foul comments towards him, and that was never my intention. It's hard to get in touch with anybody at Twitch for me, and he is the only person I know that is answering questions and speaking for Twitch at the moment. Ooh, so many great things to go through. Let's begin. <clears throat> it is kind of funny and upsetting and funny to know that if this were to happen, that is when Twitch would take extreme action. It shouldn't be funny, but it, it's kind of it's just facts. And I wish that wasn't the case because clearly we're already, at, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the flashbang. This is just how I look at Twitter, my bad. Um, doesn't that already happen on TikTok? Bro, let's not talk about TikTok, okay? Let's just... Thank God there is such a wealth of content on TikTok. I actually used to not like it for like two years because that was all I saw, like kids. And I was like, this feels weird. But luckily now there's a, a lot more variety in the content there so I can figure out algorithmically a way for me to like what's being shown. Anyway, sorry, back to the point. My response to this is essentially, it goes to show how there needs to be a larger barrier in front of streams that are sexually suggestive or mature. Because I don't think Twitch is saying that this content isn't sexual. I think they're saying that it is such a gray area of being sexual that they can't outright ban it but it is within that area of like it's not bannable but it's also not appropriate for all ages and there needs to be some way to categorize that in between type of content not only categorize but again not make it the face of twitch or just chatting or whatever and to make sure that it is actually being shown less to, or isn't being shown at all to young children. Yeah. So that's why it's like, it's not that Twitch is saying it's not sexual. And they probably wouldn't allow someone who's underage to do it. So under current rules, 13-year-old girl could do hot tub stream and write sub names on her body. Bruh, it's really, it's hard to say. I think if they, he, he, okay, the reason that that's a good, res the reason I have my take is because Twitch could logically say, no, a 13-year-old cannot do this because we consider it to be mature content. But they would have to place those types of streams as mature content. 
or like under the category of being mature content. For example, um, like gambling streams or drinking streams or whatever. Maybe that could also be considered mature content. So you can't have a 13-year-old do it. In the same way that something like a hot tub sitting on a banana stream <laughs> should be considered mature content. And all, like that entire category should be things that kids aren't exposed to and kids aren't allowed to do on the platform. Someone, someone added me and they said something like, no one cares about hot tub streamers though. Yeah, the viewership says otherwise, my guy. I'm assuming hot tub streams have to be indicated 18 plus, thus the streamer has to be 18 plus, easy solution. Yeah, but the thing is, Twitch's current 18 plus, whatever the fuck they do for that, is trash. Trash. It's bad. I'm pretty sure, like, you see the whole thumbnail, so you know what's going on, and then all you have to do is, like, go there and then click, like, yep, mature audience or something. And we all know kids are probably going to create accounts where they say that their birthday is not what it actually is. Furthermore, it's less so about the one-click aspect and more so about the way it is shown on the website. Again, like the comparison I made to YouTube, where there is some weird, weird, weird stuff on YouTube, but it is like so hidden, you really have to go looking for it. But it's not like that on Twitch. And that just sucks because that's the structure of the platform currently, and they need to solve for that. Sorry, I see so many silly things. I don't know if I should respond to them. I don't know. Someone said like, so is it bad for kids to see someone in a hot tub? <sighs> Again, this is why you need, you need humans who can look at certain types of content and be like, is this suggestive or is this not? Come on, you can have a more nuanced take than that. That wasn't my point though. The point was that if the stream is indicated 18 plus for viewers, the streamer can't be below 18. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. That is exactly my response to this. Uh, both these sorts of like hot tub streams, even things like gambling streams or like drinking streams or whatever else it is, if it is labeled as mature and categorized, um, and categorized as mature, then kids shouldn't be allowed to do it on the platform. And that would be a good position for Twitch to take. Hence why this would never happen. You would never see a young girl doing something that is labeled mature on Twitch. Do you think hot tub streamers should be removed from Twitch? You know, um, when I was talking to my manager about this, I realized I don't really have an opinion on that. I really don't. Because here's the thing, you remove hot tub streamers, and people are just going to find some other way to skirt the line that is also sexually suggestive. So I think my take is genuinely just like, Twitch, do a better job at structuring your website. Then what is the answer? <clears throat> what I proposed was that... I'm sorry. What is the answer? So what I proposed was that Twitch needs to have a better system around sexually suggestive-ish or mature streams in general and they need to be categorized differently they need to not be as forward facing uh th yeah that's about it there are a lot of details that need to be figured out with a solution like that but that's what i think is the only real fix what if viewers verify their age before viewing certain streamers like upon the streamer's request the thing is, that's kind of how it is now. Like there's a, if you click on a stream and there's mature content, then you're prompted and you're like, okay, I accept that it's mature content, but those streams should not show up for people at all that aren't over the age of 18. And that's not the only issue because... I do still think there's a category issue. And you know what? I'm very, very curious to hear your guys' take on this. Do you guys, if you are over 18, this is a question to anybody that is over 18, 
do you guys kind of have issue with the fact that there are um, hot tub streams in a just chatting category? And what I mean by that is, would you rather be able to go to just chatting and have those streams be essentially hidden? Because I'm not going to lie, only because it's the kind of thing that like I don't personally want to view. I wouldn't mind if they were like really in their own section. <laughs> but also, I don't feel super strongly about it because um, I feel like some of that sentiment can be a little bit like I don't want it to be rude or resentful or directed towards the people at all or misogynistic in any way. It's just like, whoa, not what I came here for. <laughs> yeah, so I think, I think, again, two-parter issue. One, verification of age on the website. And two, how these types of streams are categorized on the website. Or showcased. Both categorized and showcased. 